come on. It's a nice fish. Come straight to the top. I wonder what it is. My guess. The yellow tar. Feels like a brim. Yeah, a little brim. Nice little brim bay. Little 24, 25 centimetre brim there. Got on a uh, fishing bait today. I came down here initially to catch Taylor and flathead, but I keep getting picked off. So I put a smaller hook on, first calf with a smaller hook. That was a result. We've got an overcast day. We've got a bit of a chop, a bit of a breeze. The breeze is around 10 knots, which when it comes to fishing, that's a very good breeze. 10 knots is the breeze you want. It puts a chop on the water, makes the fish feel a little bit more comfortable. They can't see the shadows. Yes, that's a bit of fish. So don't be in a massive rush to get these fish in. I'm only using nine pound lot on here, nine pound moi moi. It's another brim. Swim it in on a wave. That's a better fish that one. A little bit sandy, but you can get the picture. And the spawn coming out the back there. Nice little brim, that'll get probably 25, 26. I'll throw him back, try and get him away from the pelican. But uh, very health, healthy system down here. It's just at Scott's Point. It's fishing with a little 1-0 long shank, mustard, and uh, a little bit of pelican. That's the result. So I'm using the whole pillie, I'm cutting it up in three bits, throwing the head away, I'm not using the head. What I'm doing with the body, the two bits of the body, there's a tail, two bits of the body. The body, I'm just doing a light pin through the top, and that's it. Nothing more or less than that. Cast nice and gently so it stays on the hook, and hopefully a big enough fish comes along and takes the whole bait all in one. So the outfit I'm using today is a, a six inch LV on a, uh, on a uh, 12 foot Schneider. So the, the actual Schneider is quite a light Schneider, mostly for, for a brim and flathead. So the 9 pound moi moi is all the way through. I've got a, a 50, 60 centimetre trace with the 1 ohm mustard. And I've got a, uh, a small barrel sinker because it comes through the water just a little bit easier than the, the round sinkers. Yes, and we're on again. So we've had three casts, we've had three good bites and two fish. It's the third one for the session. See the hook's got him straight through. Quite a little mouth, but I have no trouble taking these big baits. So just waft it down. Probably two chunks of this fella. So there's my four bits of pilly. I use these three bits. I throw this in for burly. You can use the head. And um, I often do use the head, but I've got plenty of bait today, so I use the head for burley and uh, the other three bits of bait. Tail's probably my preferred, stays on a bit easier, but these two chunks definitely work. So with the tails, you can see this just once right through the end. You can cast the tails a little bit harder than the bodies. They uh, definitely have a lot more staying power than the, the mid part of the pillies. That's a better fish. That feels like a good fish. It's going to puff itself out. Feels like a flathead, this one. I'll just change over to a brim hook too. I must have beak. Doesn't feel like a brim. Just hoping it doesn't bite me off. There's no shank on this one. 
could be just a good brim swimming weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice brim. Bring it in this wave. That nice big fatty. So here you go, 28. Lovely fish. You can see I've just changed over to the mustard beak, the smaller hook. That's a, uh, a brim hook. Don't use that for anything else, just the brim. A nice 28 centimetre brim there. Caught on a little bit of pilly. So the setup I got here, I found a little rock. I've got my rod and reel, nine pound moi moi, a little tool bag, a little esky with my bait, and that's it. I can put the esky and the tool bag over my shoulder and move around, stay very mobile. That's the sort of setup you should be thinking when you want to go fishing on a regular basis. There's a bite down. I haven't quite taken it yet. I want him to take the whole bait. I'll know when he does. That rod won't come back up, then I just set the hook. Yes, that's a nice fish. Got him just on the drop where the water changes colour. Not very far out. Just wants to have a little run. Good thing about these long rods, you can give the fish a run and not worry about them. So it's not a big one, but still a lot of fun. Probably 22, 23 centimetre brim. Quickly get the hook out and let him go. I've changed over to chicken here at the moment. Using chicken breast. One of my favourite brim baits. Yes, I'm on again. Nice fish. Whoa. No bite at all. Just smashed it. This is a good fish, this one. Feels good anyway. Love these rods. Can't beat the old LV with the Schneider glass surf rod. Or semi-surf, I guess. So this type of fishing you can do with an LV and a surf rod. You can do with a 7-foot graphite rod and a spin. You just throw your bait out. Wait for the... Uh, the brim to come along you will catch brim on both it's just with the right gear with with the 12 foot rod it's a nice soft rod you can see the bite you can feel the fish before he feels you you've got more chance of catching a, a reasonable feed with the right gear but you will catch fish within a year so don't rush out and buy exactly what i've got here there he is nice little brim bay oh i got him just in the wing poor little bugger cheated to get you that's why you're so hard to pull in we got him on the side still a nice brim be 28 there's a bit of last brim for me for the session i've been down here for about 90 minutes now came down here at first light and uh, we've managed probably six or seven brim you can see a little bit of spawn coming out there that's why they're in now they come in for the spawning season and uh, we'll let him go so he can go and do his business and make lots more brim